Gallop apace, you fiery-footed steeds, toward Phoebus' lodging. Such a wagoner as Phaeton would whip you to the west and bring in cloudy night immediately. Spread thy close curtain, love-performing night, that runaway's eyes may wink, and Romeo leap to these arms untalked of and unseen. Lovers can see to do their amorous rites by their own beauties, or, if love be blind, it best agrees with night. Come, civil knight, thou sober-suited matron all in black, and learn me how to lose a winning match, played for a pair of stainless maidenhoods. Hood my unmanned blood, baiting in my cheeks, with thy black mantle till strange love grow bold, think true love acted simple modesty. Come, knight, come, Romeo, come thou day and night, for thou wilt lie upon the wings of night, whiter than new snow upon a raven's back. Come, gentle knight, come, loving black-browed knight, give me my Romeo, and when I shall die, take him and cut him out in little stars, and he will make the face of heaven so fine that all the world will be in love with night and pay no worship to the garish sun. Oh, I have bought the mansion of love, but not possessed it, and, though I am sold, not yet enjoyed, so tedious is this day as is the night before some festival to an impatient child that hath new robes and may not wear them. Oh, here comes my nurse, and she brings good news, and every tongue that speaks but Romeo's name speaks heavenly eloquence. Now, nurse, what news? What hast thou there? The cords that Romeo bid thee fetch? Ay, ay, the cords. Ay, <laughs> me, what news? Why dost thou wring thy hands? Ah, well a day, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. We are undone, lady, we are undone. Alack, the day, he's gone, he's killed, he's dead. Can heaven be so envious? Romeo can, though heaven cannot. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, uh, who ever would have thought it? Romeo! What devil art thou that dost torment me thus? This torture should be roared in dismal hell. Hath Romeo slain himself? Say thou but I. And that bare vowel I shall poison more than the death-darting eye of cockatrice. I am not I, if there be such an eye, or those eyes shut that makes the answer I. If he be slain, say I, or if not, no. Brief sounds determine my weal or woe. I saw the wound, I saw it with mine eyes. God save the mark, here on his manly breast. A piteous chorus, a bloody piteous curse. Pale, pale as ashes, all bedowed in blood, all in gore blood. I swooned at the sight. Oh, break my heart, poor Bancroft, break at once. To prison, eyes, ne'er look on liberty. Vile earth to earth resign, and motion here. And thou and Romeo press one heavy beer. Oh, Tybalt, Tybalt, the best friend I had. Oh, courteous Tybalt, honest gentleman, what, that ever I should live and see thee dead. What storm is this that blows so contrary? Is Romeo slaughtered and is Tybalt dead? My dearest cousin and my dear lord. Then dreadful trumpet, sound the general doom, for who is living if those two are gone? Tybalt is gone, Romeo banished, Romeo that killed him, he is banished. Oh, God, did Romeo's hand shed Tybalt's blood? It did, it did, alas, the day, it did. Oh, serpent heart hid with a flowering face, did ever dragon keep so fair a cave? Beautiful tyrant, fiend angelical, dove-feathered raven, wolvish ravening lamb, despised substance of divinest show, just opposite to what thou justly seemst, a damned saint, an honorable villain. O oh, nature, what hadst thou to do in hell when thou didst bower the spirit of a fiend in mortal paradise of such sweet flesh? Was ever book containing such vile matter so fairly bound? Oh, that deceit should dwell in such a gorgeous palace! There is no trust, no faith, no honesty, Thee and men, all perjured, all forsworn, all not, all dissemblers. Ah, where's my man? Give Vita. me some aqua vitae. These griefs, these woes, these sorrows make me old. Shame come to Romeo! Blistered be thy tongue for such a wish. 
He was not born to shame, for upon his brow shame is ashamed to sit. For tis a throne where honor may be crowned, sole monarch of the universal earth. Oh, what a beast was I to chide at him! Will you speak well of him that killed your cousin? Shall I speak ill of him that is my husband? Ah, poor my lord, in what tongue shall smooth thy name, when I, thy three hours wife, have mangled it? But wherefore, villain, didst thou kill my cousin? That villain cousin would have killed my husband. Back, foolish tears, back to your native spring. Your tributary drops belong to woe, which you, mistaking, offer up to joy. My husband lives, but Tybalt would have slain, and Tybalt said that would have slain my husband. All this is comfort. Wherefore weep I then? Some word there was, worser than Tybalt's death, that murdered me. I would forget it fain, but, oh, it presses to my memory. Like damned guilty deeds to sinners' minds. Tybalt is dead, and Romeo banished. That banished, that one word banished, has slain ten thousand Tybalts. Tybalt's death was woe enough if it had ended there, or if sour woe delights in fellowship, and needly will be ranked with other griefs. Why follow not, when she said, Tybalt's dead, thy father or thy mother, nay, or both, which modern lamentation might have moved, but with a rearward following Tybalt's death, Romeo is banished. To speak that word is mother, father, Tybalt, Romeo, Juliet, all slain, all dead. Romeo is banished. There is no end, no limit, measure, bound in that word's death. No words can that woe sound. Where is my father and my mother, nurse? Weeping and wailing over Tybalt's course, will you go to them? I will bring you thither. Wash they his wounds with tears? Mine shall be spent when theirs are dry for Romeo's banishment. Take up those cords. Poor ropes, you are beguiled, both you and I, for Romeo is exiled. He made you for a highway to my bed, but I, a maid, die maiden widowed. Come, courts, come, nurse, I'll to my wedding bed, and death, not Romeo, take my maidenhead. Hie to your chamber, I'll find Romeo to comfort you. I wot well where he is. Hark ye, your Romeo will be here at night. I'll to him. He is hid in Lawrence's cell. Oh, find him. <laughs> Give this ring to my true knight, and bid him come to take his last farewell.